Okay, so it's Sunday the 20th of November, three days until I start at uh, recruit training school at Halton and I've run around the house for the last two hours trying to collect all the kit that I've acquired over the last month or so um, to try and match up with the kit list. I've heard from various people and various sources that a lot of it's unrequired and you'll end up taking most of it home again uh, but at the end of the day I think the bit that I don't take I'll end up needing so uh, I've got pretty much all of it I think at the moment the only thing I'm missing is food bags I don't know why I missed that off the list so I'll, I'll need to get those in the next couple of days uh, well, what we'll do is we'll have a quick look around uh, what I've got sort of what brands of stuff I've gone for and I'll imagine a lot of people will tell me that I've gone for the wrong stuff and I'll find that out and end up buying it all from the spa anyway so uh, we'll have a look ok we'll start in the back corner all nicely laid out on my bed we have uh, my boots which I've worn quite a few times uh, a few scuffs but they're starting to get a bit more comfortable underneath them we have plain t-shirts, plain shorts, not really sure what they're for but they're on the kit list so I've got them we've got some swimming goggles and a swimming cap that sort of fits on my head, I've got a pretty big head I couldn't really find one that fitted but uh, that's the best we got we got my running trainers uh, that are well worn in. I don't know whether they'll let me use them because they have had a bit of action, but hopefully because they're the most comfy trainers I've ever had. Uh, a bit weird, tennis balls. I don't know why. Uh, I just like playing with tennis balls. They relax me a little bit, so I'm going to take them with me. Uh, hopefully they don't get flung around the block too much and taken away, but uh, they help me calm me down, so I'm going to take a couple with me. Uh, so they're going in there. Underneath that I've got my swimming shorts. Um, haven't gone for the old speedos like everyone's worried about just normal swimming shorts not sort of long Bermuda shorts just swimming shorts uh, various towels ranging from a micro towel that sort of used for sailing and stuff hand towels and proper big towels and then in the back corner we've got the uh, the underwear some white socks again which I've been told that I won't need but again they're on the kit list so I've got them uh, and the uh, the best thing I can get for, for PT underwear uh, for all those blokes out there I've gone for the uh, short trunk variety for those that are worrying about uh, what sort of that to wear uh, down here got a nice sewing kit I don't know, got it from Tesco's it uh, tells me it's got everything in it so, and I had to buy a bit more thread to put in there four lots of shoe polish which should get me through to Christmas uh, I don't know where these magical large tins uh, hide but I certainly couldn't find any so I've just gone for four Obviously I'm coming back at Christmas and obviously the spa shop so I'm not going to worry about how much of that I've got. Some new brushes, got some of the old ones downstairs but I think my mum will get annoyed if I take them away. Uh, some wet wipes, baby wipes, a uh, variety of useful things for them. Uh, obviously my wash bag, toothpaste, deodorant and whatnot in there. Um, razor of course with some spare razor blades. And then we have the contact lenses because I'm a little bit blind. It's a nice moisturiser so my uh, skin can stay nice and soft and, uh, and lush. Some foot powder, and then I've got my little first AD type kit with some blister packs, some Vaseline for my lips because I tend to get quite chapped lips, uh, antiseptic wipes, uh, paracetamol and some plasters. Also some tissues because who knows I always get cold so uh, it's always useful to have. Uh, this is um, some laundry bags so I can put my clothes in in a bag so we can share the wash in without getting stuff mixed up and whatnot. A uh, variety of clothes washing stuff. Uh, I've got some ironing water because I've been told that the water at Halton is quite lime scaly and I don't particularly want to mess up my iron so I've got some ironing water. Uh, the old vanish, trust pink forget stains all that. Um, a spray water bottle again on the list um, I'd imagine it'll be used for something and some washing tablets then we've got cotton wool and dusters for various shoe polishing and cleaning type uh, activities we've got down here what have we got? we've got tea towel or pressing cloth it's actually uh, a tea towel from my primary school back in 2000 
so when I'm ironing at 3 o'clock in the morning I can have a laugh at that uh, I won't show you my specific picture on there because it's uh, not very flattering and the magic padlocks didn't quite anticipate how expensive padlocks would be uh, combination padlocks seem to be quite a bit more expensive maybe I just wasn't looking in the right place but we got four key ones with spare keys and then two combination ones I uh, don't know how well that's going to go down but that's what I've got uh, head torch LED head torch your bra so uh, a scrubbing brush for something uh, we have name tags which aren't the size that they say on the kit list but again I can't seem to find those anywhere and apparently they're available in the old spa shop if I need to but they're there uh, all the bazillions and thousands of documents I need well I think I might need uh, the amount of paper I've got through the RAF uh, probably chopped down half the rainforest so but well, we've got education certificates and stuff in there uh, a waterproof notepad don't know, just might be useful so I took it uh, three stencils because they came in a pack of three so I might as well take them all uh, nice notebook with little dividers in uh, let's take pencil case uh, that's got everything, pen pencils, uh, permanent marker, and stuff like that. Coat hangers, well, I've gone for the metal clip variety. Uh, I've been told that they're the best. They don't break, they look a bit better. So I've gone for metal clip, and then wooden sort of shirt hangers. That's the kit list with loads of little different colours on it of what I have and what I haven't got. And then obviously my, my camera box so I don't run out of battery and and run out of film. Oh, my iron. I've got a nice purple iron. Uh, hopefully, oh, I won't take anything off. Hopefully, not many people have a purple iron, so I can keep that to myself. Uh, it's quite a good quality iron. Uh, I didn't think if there was anything I was going to skimp on value, it would be the iron. Uh, so it's a reasonably good iron. And then obviously the water jar. Uh, so that's my kit. Obviously, I haven't got any of my uh, civilian clothes there because I haven't done my washing yet and that will all go away today that's the the kit anyway makes it all seem a little bit more real when it's all spread out I know that a couple of the guys that I met on PRTC are heading down to uh, Halston today to finish off their functional skills and they're all uh, complaining about how they're all going to get it in bags so I haven't tried that yet so it'll be interesting to see uh, how many bags it will take me um, <laughs> it's funny, all, all, these, uh, all these guys going down today, it suddenly uh, hit them uh, what's actually happening to them and, and stuff like that. So uh, it sort of affected me a little bit in uh, suddenly seems a bit more real. And uh, my emotions are going from massively excited to uh, quite nervous, as I'm sure is natural. And uh, yeah, it's all coming home and, and seeing all the kit in front of you and you sort of understand what it's all going to be about so we'll see how it goes tomorrow uh, tomorrow I'll have my last day at uh, my uh, cadet squadron I'm sure uh, some of you will know about the space cadets and uh, how much you hate them but hopefully I'll uh, I'll try and sway you on that and uh, provide a slightly better light than those those that you've seen before uh, yep so that's my kit that's going to all try and go in a bag now I'll finish it off and uh, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow.